Hi, here we are again in the Avro RJ uh, by Just Flight, and the theme of this video is um, does it have VNAV? I'm sure it'll be a question that's going to be asked a lot. And um, yes and no. Um, main answer is no because uh, the button here doesn't work. It never worked in the real aircraft. It was fitted as a um, placeholder. I'll just slow the aircraft down here a little bit um, while I talk. Uh, yeah, it was like a little um, placeholder for the future, but uh, like the microwave landing system here, which never materialized. But uh, what it does have um, here, it has um, VNAV pages, and um, it will um, give you a top of descent point here. Um, I just want to go back to the cruise page. There we go. 12 uh, miles here to our uh, top of descent, which is there, and um, I'm going to show you how how do we manage our descent. So when we go to the legs page, um, I know this approach pretty well. We can see our next altitude constraint is um, 7,000 feet um, above 7,000 feet at Indus, which is at the corner here. This looks a little bit messy, but that's how it was in the real aircraft. The text is quite big and we get a little bit of an overlap, but we can see as we're heading downwind, the runway is here in uh, Geneva, and we're heading downwind, and when we turn in here in this corner, we've got to be at 7,000 feet or above it. So um, I'm going to just wait for the top of descent here. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And the other theme of this video is here I've got a um, R nav approach. The 04 loaded, and if we go then to the initiate in the uh, init ref page here, we can see we've got VNAV option here on the approach, which I'll explain in a moment. Basically, if you've got a VNAV approach <coughs> loaded, you'll get here on the um, an enunciator here very soon. We'll get we should get an FMS uh, approach <coughs> um, message. Uh, let's see if that. Piers, but first we've got to get our descent um, going so we can see now we've got go back to the VNAV page we've got four miles to top of descent so let's get um, 7,000 feet in the window here we need to be above that so I'll show you how we do that in a moment we can descend with level change that will hold 250 knots and go down like a rocket to be honest and if you put the air brake out will drop like a stone but that's probably going to get us too low too early. So let's go by the calculated top of descent here. And we got 1.6 miles, so yeah, just over a mile. So what we're going to do now is put it in vertical speed. And um, yeah, normally I'd be descending at 270 knots at this height, but let's leave it at 250. Okay, we're pretty much at the top of descent now. Let's put it down to. Um, 2,000 feet a minute is the normal um, descent rate. And now we can see um, a green arc has appeared to tell us when we're going to level off at 7,000 feet. And how that looks at the moment, it's pretty good. I mean, there's no range telling us exactly where it is, but we can use the range here. Um, that's there. It's going to be about 12 miles, and then this is probably another five or so. So we'll Gonna go around the corner. We're probably gonna arrive a little bit too early at 7,000 feet, so let's reduce the rate to 1,500 feet a minute. And of course, like in the real aircraft, it's not gonna spring exactly to where we're gonna level off, but let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then our next altitude is 6,000 feet at Elka, that's the start of the approach. So now that's looking good keep an eye on that and that's why I like this plane it does have kind of manual VNAV but you have to keep on top of it I love the workload now here we're going to go into um, init ref um, approach enable should come on automatically which uh, we'll keep our eye on in a minute here um, <clears throat> VNAV approach you can see the at the moment it's off I'm going to select that on um, I'm not sure um, if it's not too early, but we'll see. And it's telling us it's um, 
a glide slope or glide path of uh, three degrees. So that would be <clears throat> here at Belka. Then we've um, actually in this we can start going down. Um, and if uh, we see the speeds here at glide path angle, uh, what do we think? We're going to go at say, let's go 160 knots. No, let's go 150 right in the middle here. So that's going to be about uh, 800 feet a minute descent rate, glide path angle descent rate. So um, let's see how that works out. MDA 1860 here for our category. There we go. We're close enough now. The F FMS approach has appeared. So that's activated. I'll show you how that works in a moment. It's manual. You can't couple it to the uh, autopilot, but it works pretty good. Or pretty well. Sorry, good English. Um, now let's go to 6,000 feet is our next next uh, restriction we're going to be at 7,000 feet actually we're, we're going to go down the slope from Belka how's that that's a good plan and zoom out again a little bit here click the spot here to center up the heading book that's working pretty well we should slow down we're talking a lot here so let's slow her down at the moment the initial approach to 180 let's get the speed brakes out I've turned the sim um, sound down in the sim because my microphone's not very, very good. You can see now the speed's bleeding off very nicely. Center the heading bug again here. So we want to be 6,000 feet at belt cap. It's looking pretty good. Let's go down a little bit more, 1,800 feet a minute. All right now we're um, safe speed for flaps 18. I'll stick the gear down as well purpose of the video prep it so I'm not talking and forgetting stuff there we go now once I know we're turning the corner now what I have to do now is put the mode here in um, plan no in arc or rows now we see we've got a deviation bar which is uh, telling us if we're uh, above or below uh, profile which is pretty cool Let's slow her down. What do we say? 150 knots. We're going to come down the slope at. So now I'll stick uh, a bit more flap down. Let's get the speed brakes. Sorry, I've gone too fast on the speed there, but it's kind of hard when you're talking, thinking about what I'm going to say. So now we're heading in. Uh, we've got 1.6 miles to Belka here, which we've got to be at 6,000 feet, which is working pretty well. Let's hit the Barometer key. Yeah, we're going to be a little bit high, I guess. Let we go full flat now. Yeah, it's a bit, like I say, a little bit messy. Uh, let's change the time in the sim very quick. Is that light? It's not very good, is it? There we go. Good. There we go. So now we've got the profile. Now we should be 6,000 feet here so we should be a little bit above profile there we go it's actually good I did it wrong to show you so now we've got to get back on profile so I'm going to go down to 1800 I'm not a professional pilot as you can see so let's stick the descent uh, to 1500 feet a minute to get back on profile of course when you're talking um, it's a lot harder that's my excuse anyway. Just a little bit of flap or an Elliot flap limit there, that's better. 150 knots, you can see the profiles coming back in. So the 150 knots will be 800 feet a minute. Let's get that to 800 feet a minute. And now we should be, let's go 900. Pretty much on profile and what couldn't have worked out better is we can't see a thing, that's fantastic. So uh, when we break out of the clouds, we're going to see where we are on the uh, on the glide slope. Um, so let's get my camera sorted there. Now we're pretty good, back on profile. Um, 800 feet a minute. Let's see if we hold it there. What do we say on the chart? 1,800. No, 1,860. About 1,900. And we're a little bit above our. VREF at the moment, which is 123. So 
So let's go 130 knots, which is going to be about 700 feet a minute. Let's go 130. 700 feet a minute, that should hold us pretty much on profile. Full flap. Okay, now we're just waiting to break out and see, uh, see what we can see. Yeah, landing lights were on, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. But pretty good, we're just like slightly above the profile. Let's go 50 feet more descent. And we've got a little checkpoint here at. Um, 6.7 miles, we should be at 3,600 feet. 6.7 miles, which is soon. 3,600 feet, we're pretty much on profile again. Let's go back to our descent. There we go. Gear down, flaps full, landing lights on. Looking good. 6.7 miles here. 3,600. That's working out quite well. 6.7. 3,600. <laughs> right on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I can see a little bit of ground ahead. Well, there we go. It's a bit foggy, but flailing about a bit here at this speed. Nicely on profile. Very good. Very good. Where's our MSA uh, 1800? We've got a little while to go. We're still at six miles out. Of course, you could do this at faster speed. I just wanted to slow the plane down a bit so I could talk and think a little. Ideally, we're looking at about, we need a little bit more than 750. Are we looking? Can we see a runway? Not yet. What's the wind doing? I don't think it's much wind. So like I say, to do the RNAV approach, um, load an RNAV approach in the departures arrivals, make sure uh, VNAV, sorry, VNAV approach, VNAV and approach enable are both on, and make sure you're in rows or arc mode. It doesn't work in the map mode. You see the, the, the line, uh, the deviation bars disappeared. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Good. Look at that. Too red, too white. Super. Autopilot off. Shouldn't do this live on TV, but here we go. Um, might my view a bit more forward. So that was perfect. That worked out really well. You can see we're still right on the deviation here, the um, VNAV deviation. Fantastic. How was that? So, yeah, the plane can do. On have approaches down to the minimums. Um, absolutely love it. Let's see what we've got here. 60 more. We need about 60. A little bit low there, looking away. We can use this, um, yeah, as a little bit of a reference. We've obviously got the puppies, but I like to be a bit more visual at this point. Just trim my nose up a little. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm all over the place talking, but that's all right. I have an excuse. Okay, let's go uh, water throttle off. Need about 60%. Throttles are way back. A little bit, 60%. So I should cut the video now. But um, I'm not going to. That would be chickening out. Okay, here we go. Let's concentrate on the landing now. We ref is looking good. We're getting a little slow, but that's alright. This plane can handle it. And there we go, what a great plane this is. I've really enjoyed flying this. Oh, now VNAV approaches. Um, gonna need the air brakes out soon. So come over the threshold. 100. Air brakes out, 100 feet. 50, 40, 30. Let's idle it and float it 20. down. Here we go. 10. 10. Long enough runway for this little plane. There we go. Super duper. Oh, something went dark there. That's a bit weird. Ryanair would have made that exit, but people are uh, Swiss uh, still finishing their chocolate in the back, so don't want to rush them. There we go. Fantastic. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. 
ramblings of a madman and a bit panicky, but again, it's much easier when you're just concentrating and not not talking. Good, and uh, thanks a lot. Enjoy the plane.